What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to go ahead and learn how you can send mail with Python. So let's take a look at this here. Let's see it in action. First off here we're going to go ahead and send a message here to Albert Gregory Vader at protonmail.com with the subject of testing and a body of this is the body of the message. So let's go ahead and run this program now. All right, so when this finished executing, which it just did, let's take a look at our mailbox and go ahead and refresh. So there we go. We can see that we actually have two because I tested it just prior to starting the, to just starting this video as well, and we've got that as well. So, um, so we've got this is the body of the message here, and we saw that our mail was accurately sent. All right, so now let's get started and see how this happened. So we're going to go ahead and address several different things here. We're going to answer four different questions. So first, what is SMTP? Second, why are we using a host port, uh, a host and port? Uh, third, why are we using TLS? And third, what is or fourth, what is MIME? So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So first, we're importing SMTP lib. So this is using SMTP or uh, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So what that is is a very uh, is a serial set of steps for how you send mail over the internet. And in order for us to basically send mail, we need to set up a server that is capable of interfacing with this SMTP protocol or basically is capable of performing this SMTP protocol in order for us to send mail. So that's why we use uh, SMTP lib. Next up here, we're imp importing uh, from email.mime.multipart import mime multipart. So when we are sending emails, emails need to be specifically formatted basically for a variety of things. And one of those things is the fact that we need to add additional media. So consider the fact that we might need to support audio, video, or images when we are actually sending our emails. So MIME is how we support that. It's an internet standard or specification that basically extends the format of email to support that. In addition to that, it'll support things like additional text, text characters. It basically allows us to configure emails however we want to configure them with whatever media when we're sending them um, over SMTP for our, for our mail transfer. All right, so next year we're importing MIME text, and we're just going to use that for formatting the body of our email as well. So next we're importing uh, from config, import address and password. All this is is another file right here. It just looks just like this. If I were to say config2.py, and we said, uh, you know, address equals, or actually I used capitalized, so we could say address equals, you know, uh, localhost. Or whatever you wanted to use you wouldn't use localhost so you'll see what i use in just a moment it'll depend on which mail server you want to use but then you would have password as well as another variable and that would equal your password for your uh, login for your email all right so now let's go ahead back and now let's take a look here so now we see we have a function called uh, send message and it takes four parameters <clears throat> that is a sender the person that is sending the message uh, to the person who is intended to receive the message uh, or whom or the person whom the message is uh, is the, or the, the I can't I'm not grammatically correct when I speak but anyways the person who wants we want to get the message uh, subject the uh, the subject line of the message and body of course the body of the email itself so now we see here, we're going ahead and create an instance of the my multi-part class. We go ahead and we set the uh, the from part in the uh, in the message dictionary. So we, this has obviously a dictionary. We can reference it like a dictionary, and we're setting from to equal the sender parameter. We're sending to to equal the to parameter. We're sending the subject to equal the subject parameter, and then finally we're attaching the body as a mime text as an instance of the mime text class. Uh, and that is going to go ahead and format everything in our body properly. Then we go ahead and attach the message uh, and to the as and, and call. Uh, then we attach that to the to the message, the body, and then we go ahead and we send the message from the server, uh, attaching that overall message object that has now been built. All right, so now we can go ahead and see how do we get to that function. Well, if the name equals main, so if we're running this file, then we want to go ahead and say. Uh, we want to create an instance of the SMTP server. We want to go ahead and start TLS. So again, TLS is for transfer layer secure. It basically encrypts any and all communications over our communication channel. Then we go ahead and log in with the address and password. That is the username and password for your for your uh, 
mail login we, that we imported from that configuration file. Remember, we go ahead and log in with that, and then we go ahead and send our message calling that function that we went over earlier. Again, passing the sender, the destination, the subject, and the body. Then we go ahead and quit out of the quit the server. So close down the server, and then the pro program finishes. So that would be it. That's how to send mail with Python. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Any comments or questions, please leave them below. And if you enjoyed, a thumbs up and subscription would be great. Thank you guys again, and have a fantastic day.